My name is Valentina, also known as the Glam Press. Because of the way I bedazzled my Instagram channel, go check that out. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be publishing my very first tutorial for you guys today. I was inspired by Adobe's new AI features in Camera Raw. OMG, wait till you get a load of them. They are amazing. And to celebrate the new Barbie movie, of course. Barbie's the it girl. Everybody wants to be Barbie. It's very easy step-by-step -step instructions. Super easy to follow. And totally beginner friendly. And if you like this one, and you want to take your editing skills to the next level, I invite you to subscribe to my website, she'scrafty.blog, where you're going to learn a whole bunch of new cool stuff there too. I can't wait to see you there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know that it helped you. And that will inspire me to make more free videos for you guys. And don't be a brat. Share with all your Barbie friends. That's what Barbies do. Sharing is caring. The first thing we're going to do after we open up Photoshop is click on File and scroll down to Open to import the photo that we want to transform into Barbie. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to change the hair color to Barbie Blonde in less than 60 seconds using Photoshop's new AI selective masking tools that are available in Camera Raw, which is another application that works in conjunction with Adobe Photoshop. Step 1. Right click on the photos layer to convert to smart object. Now if your layers panel isn't open, go to the top bar and click on window. Then scroll down and click on layers from the window menu and it should pop up. Step 2. Go to the top bar and click on filter. Then select camera raw filter. A bunch of options will appear. Select the masking option which is the circular icon, it's the third one down. Step three, the program will take a moment to find the people in the photo and you'll notice it's doing a little thinking. Once it's finished, you'll see that under people, it's identified the subject in the photo as a person. Step four, click on the person you wanna edit. For example, person one and you'll see it breaks it down into its constituent parts like face, skin, body, eyebrows, etc. Of course, we want the hair, so check the box for hair and click Create. Step five, now it's time to change the hair color. By sliding the hue bar, you can select any color from the rainbow. Use the saturation slider to adjust the brightness. When trying to find the perfect shade of blonde, you'll notice that more saturation gives you a vivid golden blonde, whereas turning the saturation down gives us a more platinum Barbie blonde. You just have to play around with the different settings until you find the settings that you like. While adjusting the color of the hair, you may notice that other items in your photo are also changing, like this model's sunglasses. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. Once you're happy with the adjustments you've made to the hair color, you can click the subtract button and scroll down to brush. We're going to use the subtract brush, our eraser, to remove any changes made to the area or items that we didn't want changes made to. But first we need to check out our subtract brush settings. For this photo, we're going to bring the size down small enough to wipe the handles of the model's glasses clean without touching the hair. Also, we want to make sure our feather is between 80 to 100, which is the hardness of the brush's edges, and that our flow, the rate of the application, is all the way up to 100. Once you've finished, you can click OK and you'll see your changes get imported back into Photoshop. 
or you can opt to stay in camera raw and click create new mask. Check another box like teeth for teeth whitening since Barbie's teeth are sparkling pearls. <laughs> if you've left camera raw, however, and wish to return to make new adjustments, return to camera raw, remember, by clicking the top bar on file once again and scrolling down to camera raw filter. Repeat the same steps as above to isolate the different areas you wish to make changes to on your person. Before clicking on the masking option, I want to zoom in the, t the teeth so I can see my adjustments a bit better. Now you'll notice that once camera raw is opened, your cursor is a magnifying glass. Click up and down anywhere on the screen to zoom your photo in and out. So the final things that I want to do to this particular photo in Camera Raw is I want to enhance the vividness of this silly strawberry bikini's color and pattern since my photo looks a bit overexposed. So simply create new mask and check clothes. You can change the color of your model's clothes by adjusting the hue bar or simply enhance the brightness by adjusting the saturation bar. The saturation bar can be used in the same way to create a more tan look for the skin. And once you're happy with all of the adjustments you can make in Camera Raw, it's time to smooth out our skin in Photoshop to look even more like a Barbie doll. So stay tuned for that video coming next.